New at 530, the fun at Foxwoods is expanding quite a bit. Today, in fact, they broke ground on what will soon be the Great Wolf Lodge Resort. Yeah, a lot of families excited about this. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash has the new jobs and tourism this project creates. It is this spot on the east side of Foxwoods that is full of dirt and construction now that will soon become the Great Wolf Lodge, a family fun center bringing 500 new jobs to eastern Connecticut. A project nearly 20 years in the making is now becoming a reality. You understand us as a people and our culture. Construction has started on Great Wolf Lodge's first Connecticut location. Foxwoods, now Great Wolf. This is becoming a destination. This is where people want to be, not just overnight, not just for um, a show, but for a week and for a family. The 91,000 square foot resort is best known for its indoor water park. State and Mashantucket leaders alike expect the place to draw crowds from across not just New England, but the Northeast as a whole. We've had uh, two or three of the busiest tourism years in the history of the state uh, over the last three years. They've been complicated years. I think a lot of folks are rediscovering what they love about the state of Connecticut, what they love about the great outdoors. And um, I really believe that uh, Foxwoods and I believe that Great Wolf's going to be a big part of that. Mash and Tucket leaders first hoped to have had this project off the ground in the early 2000s, but the 08 economy crash put a quick stop to that. Now, nearly two decades later, Foxwoods is growing again. It's been a long and windy road, as they say. About 500 new permanent hospitality jobs are expected to come out of the resort. In the meantime, roughly 400 construction workers will create the building to welcome families from across the region for years to come. It's all about families coming here, having a good time, and really just enjoying themselves and forgetting everything else. The resort is expected to open in the spring of 2025. At Foxwoods, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.